Hi there everybody, Nikki here. Today I'm going to be creating a short video just to share with everybody that I've chosen and decided to close down the Divine Truth Hub Forum. There are a number of reasons why I've chosen to do this which I'll now outline for you all. The first reason is that I've actually determined that the creation of the forum itself is out of harmony with a number of God's principles. I recently came to this understanding because I, um, I attended the most recent Divine Truth Assistance Group called Understanding God's Loving Laws. And in this group, Jesus um, describes 16 key principles that God sticks by and uses in God's creation and how basically all of God's laws revolve around these principles. One principle is called economy. And what Jesus stated about economy was that um, all creation and all of God's creations are self-maintaining. And if we find that we are needing to spend a lot of our personal time, resources and energy in maintaining any of our creations, that means our creation is not actually in harmony with the economy principle. Now, the forum for me is definitely a creation that is not economical. Over the course of the last 15 months, I've spent a lot of personal time trying to administer and moderate the forum in the best way I, I've been able to do based on my current injuries and addictions. Because I've not been in harmony with this principle, I've been finding that on many occasions over the past 15 months, I've found that I've been quite exhausted and that's actually really a negative compensation result of me acting out of harmony with this principle. It actually dawned on me that the only real way a forum related to divine truth could possibly be in harmony with all of God's laws and principles is that if every single person on the forum uh, had a desire to basically be self-responsible and um, I'll quickly define self-responsibility for you by just reading out um, how Jesus has defined self-responsibility from the latest assistance groups. The law-based requirement of self-awareness to seek truth, love and understanding of all principles of love and law and the loving ownership and expression of one's will, desire, passion, emotion, attitudes, intentions, thoughts and actions in harmony with God's principles and laws. So as you guys may reflect, pretty much nobody at the moment on earth, uh, bar maybe Jesus and maybe one or two others, um, have a real sense within themselves of desiring self-responsibility. I, for one, um, I do not yet fit into this ca category. I've still got some way to go in terms of uh, working through some of my personal addictions. And, you know, I found that actually if a forum was created and if everybody was self-responsible, there wouldn't even need to be an admin or any moderators because everyone would actually be um, sharing information already in a spirit of love. And that's the only real way I see a forum being self-maintaining. You know, no policing needs to occur on the forum and all that I kind of see a forum would be good for would be in the future for people who live in different parts of the world to come together and basically share ideas and to help like, you know, co-create projects, for example. So the second reason why I decided to close the forum down is because of uh, the huge topic of addictions. And when I am speaking about addictions, I mean both my personal addictions as well as the addictions of other forum members. I've been realising for a while now that many of the interactions on the forum between members have been pretty addictive. This includes my own personal addictions that I wanted to get met through the creation and maintaining of the forum. For a long time I've had a taking attitude due to various emotional addictions that I didn't want to let go of and that I wanted to get met throughout the past 15 months. To be honest with you all, I've wanted a feeling of 
from other people that they feel like I get what I'm doing and I get what I'm saying and a feeling of that I'm more progressed than other people. Uh, in reality, this is quite a uh, superior and arrogant and prideful viewpoint of myself. And as you can imagine, this massively impacts upon the the pureness of my desire to offer a gift to other people. And it's actually taken me pretty much 15 months to see that I do want these addictions and to see that these are the addictions that I wanted to get met through the forum I've been pretty resistive to seeing the truth of this and it's taken um, quite a number of times the gift of feedback from Jesus and Mary and me not wanting to let go of these addictions to actually recognize within myself that these are real and this is the condition of where I'm at at the moment because of me wanting to act in these addictions and desiring them it has led uh, led me to act in an unloving way at times to a number of individuals on the forum I've also realized that probably my main addiction that I got met through the forum was that I wanted, a, um, I was seeking a real strong feeling of approval from both Jesus and Mary about everything I'd been doing. And for me, that's probably been the biggest thing that I've learned. The fact that the main driving force of me actually creating the forum wasn't as much of a pure desire to gift, it was more of a desire to receive that approval from Jesus and Mary. I've decided now that I wish to basically free up more of my personal time so I can really have a good crack at working through these uh, quite large emotional addictions that I have. Um, they greatly impact everything in my life and my uh, desire to actually be of service to other people and also it hopefully give me more time to actually create projects and to work on other things. Um, which are more in harmony with God's laws and God's principles um, that hopefully will be of more benefit to other people than something like a forum. The next uh, thing that I'd like to share with everybody is that I've basically been questioning the long-term effectiveness of having a divine truth-based forum. What I mean by effectiveness is the potential that a forum has right now at this moment in time on earth to have a positive effect on improving the soul condition of other people as well as um, basically helping to grow divine truth on the planet. Currently it is a fact that many people who have heard divine truth, myself included, have quite a strong desire to keep hold of some of our um, personal addictions and I've basically found that um, if we all um, or many of us engage in something like a forum such as the forum I created with a intention in our souls to act in those addictions the forum itself as a tool will actually be rendered useless there have been many occasions since the forum went live and was open to the public where I have um, had to take uh, actions to either mute or ban uh, members of, uh, from the forum itself due to their desire to engage in their personal addictions and times when myself or another member of forum staff has called somebody on their addiction um, they have responded in an angry or attacking or condescending manner and I feel to me um, if many, pe if more people being truthful, that that's how they probably would have responded as well. I have personally realised that when I've been uh, confronted with some of my own addictions by others, I have been pretty resistive, to be honest with you, in terms of like actually wanting to give them up. And uh, the resistance I found comes from a desire of wanting to keep hold of the addiction and that's what causes all the problems. Because of uh, this realization about my own resistances, I've realized and I've come to appreciate more the current situation of people who have, um, of many people who have uh, 
come across divine truth at this moment in time and where the majority of us are all at. So bearing all this in mind, I currently do not see how the forum can remain open in a place of love, truth and um, in an economical way when this is currently the case. I've also been realising after spending just over two months in Australia on the Divine Truth Volunteer Programme that there are more ways that I can basically go about uh, creating uh, different things and different uh, platforms and um, engaging uh, technology in different ways in which I can actually share Divine Truth in a more beneficial manner to people and a manner that's actually more economical for myself I've decided that I'm basically going to be um, spending more time um, investigating these other areas and trying to work uh, work on creating different um, creating different projects and different things that I feel would help grow divine truth on the planet more so than the forum from today onwards nobody will be able to um, actually join the forum and all current members will not be able to post any more information on the forum itself. I have decided that I'll keep the um, keep the forum available online um, just as a small personal fee to myself uh, on a monthly basis uh, just because I feel there are a number of really uh, awesome uh, threads and posts that some people have actually created on there and I feel there's a lot of really wicked information that if people who are open and do sincerely want to uh, challenge their addictions and progress, they could actually benefit hugely from. There's also been a growing uh, archive of books that people have recommended over the past 15 months, as well as um, the creation and um, development of the movie section which uh, many of the members have uh, contributed towards and I feel that a lot of people uh, would find it beneficial if they could still have some kind of access to this. So, um, so that's another reason why I, f I feel it's appropriate and a, a loving thing to keep this available to everybody. I also wish to keep the forum available um, as an archive uh, type uh, resource and reference for anybody who wishes to um, to kind of like uh, go through and understand some of the lessons that I've been learning uh, since I created the forum, there's a lot of personal feedback on there which I've shared that I've received from Jesus and Mary and uh, Mary herself has actually posted a lot of uh, this feedback directly on the forum too and I feel quite a lot of, uh, a lot of people have um, very similar addictions and injuries to me and I feel that um, people if they want to feel more and um, you know realize more things about themselves it may actually help them and may help you guys if you do uh, read through um, the feedback I've got and the things that I've done on the forum which may also help you guys as well going forwards the site www.divinetruthhub.com will still be kept online and I will be using the main site as a way in which I can uh, write up some blog posts over the coming year and a place where I can share more about the, um, the projects that I'm excited and looking forward to creating so if you wish to keep updated with them you can always you know feel free to uh, visit the site every now and again. I will also still be using and keeping my um, current email which is nikki at divinetruthhub.com if any of you guys wish to still um, get in touch with me or send me an email. I will soon be making changes to the Divine Truth Experience YouTube channel which I will be looking at um, posting videos and content on over the coming year. Finally, I'd like to thank absolutely everybody who has ever contribu contributed to the forum. It's been really awesome uh, meeting many of you for the first time, albeit over the internet. But as well, it's been really cool um, actually getting to know some of you, and particularly um, some, some of you guys who have 
uh, come to the forum in a spirit of openness and uh, tr uh, and truth and be and willing to actually you know expose where you're at with other people. So I've really enjoyed getting to know you know uh, you guys. Um, so yeah, I just like to thank everybody for that. I'd also like to uh, give a big thank you to all of the moderators that have actually volunteered their time in helping me moderate the forum over the past 15 months. These guys are Lena uh, Shakanov, Louisa Litton Hitchens, Perry Haldenby, and David Raisman. These guys have, sp have spent a lot of time um, trying to help me maintain the integrity of the forum. And as you can probably tell from hearing the first part of this video, it has been quite a task. <laughs> and it's taken these guys and myself a lot of time to, uh, to do this. But you know, these guys came with um, a gifting attitude and an attitude where they wanted to help me out. And uh, I'm very grateful for that. Finally, I'd like to say a huge thank you to both Jesus and Mary. Uh, both of these guys have spent such a massive amount of time um, gifting to me their own personal advice and guidance to help me actually create the terms of use for the forum as well as helping me go through all the lessons and helping me understand the principles involved in um, basically addressing issues of love in other people also, I'd like to thank you, Sir Mary, for actually providing me with personal feedback in the times where I've gone off course due to my own desire to hold on to my own personal addictions and not wanting to be in a state of humility to that. There have been many times where um, the potential damage to other people could have been like pretty big had you, Sir Mary, not stepped in and offered their guidance to me and also through sharing their own feedback publicly on the forum itself so that everybody else could understand the, um, the issues of love in each particular situation. Mary took a lot of her personal time to actually go onto the forum and create a number of awesome threads and posts as well as offering personal feedback to a number of members on the forum. Miri also organised the uh, movie section of the forum by creating, uh, by creating it in different uh, genres. That has really helped um, everybody else on the forum put move their movie recommendations in specific areas, and I feel it's such an awesome resource. Jesus also spent many many hours uh, gifting to me his knowledge. Um, of all these principles and how they work in terms of helping me um, keep the forum running and as well as this Jesus helped me understand that the principles that he has always taught um, not only help in the running of a forum but they can actually be applied to everything in, in everyday life as well and that's actually one of the principles of God and the principle of permanence. And yeah, in general, I want to thank both Jesus and Mary as well for the, the huge amount of love, uh, patience, kindness, and um, compassion they've shown, not only just to me, but to everybody else who's engaged with the forum. It has been really awesome to be able to observe this firsthand and also to observe how much both Jesus and Mary value um, confronting truth and being in truth with others no matter what no matter what potential things can come back to them as a result of doing that and that's something that I'm always going to be trying to aspire to from this point on um, so thank you again guys for that